Hi everyone, my name is Jade. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about my artifact and what I found in the artifact. So my artifact is um, a song and a movie. So I recently saw The Shack and within The Shack there's this song that Tim McGraw and Faith Hill sing and they originally made it up for the movie and it's called Keep Your Eyes On Me. And within the movie the song's played where, um, where the main character is he's having issues with his faith and he lost his faith so he's coming together with the character who plays Jesus and um, trying to keep his eyes on me so he doesn't sink out of the boat that he's in and so um, this song is playing um, and that's just the basis of my artifact so what I found in that is that within the lyrics um, they talk about, um, you know, like a tear, you're going to blur everything out, like a glass, um, fall and break so easily, just like love, um, to leave a mark on the skin. So what I did was um, I saw the observable meaning is that um, obviously something's painful to leave a permanent mark on the skin. Um, and then it says when the pain goes away and shadows everything. So the suggested meaning behind the mark is that something will, might have happened, like um, grief or loss of something, um, something that's painful to the person. Then in the course it says, keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes on me. When it hurts so much, keep your eyes on me. So um, within the, the, the Christian ideology is behind my paper. And I say that because the suggested themes of the pain and the grief um, then are followed by keep your eyes on me, which are the repetitive phrases, meaning that, um, you know, using personal pronouns like me, meaning it's an object. So I used that to back up the, um, the proof of the ideology of Christianity in my paper. Um, so with that said, um, you know, saying things like Christianity can pull you out of depression and pain, that's the observable ideology in my paper. But what I thought was interesting is that um, throughout the scene of the movie, uh, the main character is um, yelling at God's character, yelling at Jesus, saying, why could you take something so important away from me in my life? And saying, you know, you're God, can't you work magic? And isn't that like the Christian ideology is having such faith in something for, you know, to do good, to do what's right. And even in the in the lyrics, it says, you know, um, ain't in a saint who picks up the pieces left behind meaning like that's what they're supposed to do but see what I thought is that the Christianity ideology and how it functions it could function for people to get out of depression but I also see that um, it's also a setup that if the um, the Christian ideology could be um, could also backfire because um, if the main character is so angry at these um, religious figures that the Christian ideology couldn't function in the way that it's seen in the song because um, they're already so angry and with the song it could also, you know, in the repetitive use of keep your eyes on me um, could maybe, you know, lead them more into depression, more into anger um, and also, you know, cause the main character to... Um, have the opposite effect, you know, like to murder the murderer and all of that. So that was my finding in that. But um, what I also, I dug a little bit deeper and I thought maybe a spiritual ideology could be used well in this scene because, you know, um, there's also where it says, uh, you hurt the one you love the most, you can't find the sun. And um, earlier I mentioned that um, ain't, ain't it just like love? So I feel like even though, um, you know, he had lost somebody important to him, um, I think that what the spiritual ideology can be focused on ma more mainstream themes of love, and that could be used to, um, to push him out of anger, out of depression, instead of more of a, um, a Christian ideology. Uh, and so even though I dug a little bit deeper to find the spiritual part in this, um, the, the words and the language along with the scene in the movie, uh, reinforce it. So it's more of the hegemonic ideology, you know, reinforcing with uh, rhetorical strategies of being repetitive and keep, you know, demanding him to keep your eyes, not can you or subjective, but almost a command. So um, that was what I found. Uh, please, I'd love your feedback. I really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys did too. Thank you.